So. I really do. It's called a fascinator. Mm. It fascinates. Today you need to fascinate. I need to schmooze. That's an entirely different thing. Bring me a schmoozer, I'll wear it. You're wearing this. What is it about race day that makes normally sane women dress this way? Stop being such a cynic. Oh, uh, really? They squeeze themselves into dresses two sizes too small. They perch one of these on their heads. They get themselves plastered on cheap champagne. And they're trying to get laid by anything in pants. Don't look at me. I'm not about to question the well-established mating rituals of straight people. There you go. Expensive champagne. Oh. oh, very nice. I did not pay him to say that. You really like this? Yeah, you do as proud. Now, a quick toast before they start arriving. Mm. To cruising and schmoozing. Schmoozing? And generating loads of goodwill. To compose management. To compose. Hmm. And as a lot of the people who are out to impress are large women pretending they're Paris Hilton, it might be an idea not to mention your race day theory, or at least not quite so judgmentally. Duly noted. Hmm. You, by the way, have dressed just right. Doug, it's me. First race starts in 20 minutes. Where are you? <laughs> Call me. Right. Sophie? I almost didn't recognize you. You look so different. Professor Green. Oh, call me Carrie, please. Old habits. I'm waiting for Doug. Dr. Graham, oh, yes, I believe you two stay close after Leo. Yes. Mm. You know, this is so strange. I was only thinking about you the other day, and here you are. I was going to ask Dr. Graham for your number. Do you have a moment? Oh, we're off to the races. Oh, it won't take long. Come on, there's something I'd really like to show you. It's the new cardiothoracic wing. I thought you'd be interested. Why? A cardiothoracic was where Leo saw his future. I'm being indiscreet. No. Look, we're launching an appeal. Donna mentioned your recent windfall. Oh, my sister has a big mouth. Oh, I assumed it was common knowledge. No, I, uh... I haven't even told my parents yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Perhaps I shouldn't have mentioned it. But if you are thinking of donating any of your winter charity, I'd like you to consider us. You can take the brochure with you if you like. Oh, uh, look, Doug's waiting. I... I hope you're not offended. No, I understand. It's important to you. I think it would be important to Leo if he were here. We could acknowledge him on a plaque if you wished. I have to go. Oh, you're waiting for me. I'm here now. What's that? Can we just go? Stupid thing. <laughs> Looks good from here. Oh, it's not a time for jokes. Who's joking? Your dad's in. Don't let him in. Too late. Ah! Uh, sorry, I'll, I'll just dump these and run. Oh. I thought control girdles went out with the arc. It's a bodysuit. Out! I'm going. Give us a hand. There we go. That should put a dent in what we need. Yeah, for sure. Just don't go dipping into it. <laughs> Woo! Looking hot, babe. Check out our girl. I knew there was a reason I never wore these things. <laughs> What's all this? Fell off the back of a truck. Thought I'd grab them for the reception. Oh, you don't have to do this, Dad. We told you. And I told you it was not negotiable. Besides, you know, I couldn't pass up a bargain like this. Well, thank you. My pleasure. How are the plans going? Good. We've spoken to a celebrant. The deposit for the reception venue was paid yesterday. Next thing we've got to do is get the invites out. Oh, this stupid thing. I'll be back in a tick. Oh, you all right? I forgot to do it. What? Pay the deposit. I got tied up at work and it completely slipped my mind. 
It had to be paid by lunchtime today or we'll lose the place. Beck's gonna kill me. Slowly and painfully, if I had to guess. <sighs> you gotta save me here, Steve, eh? I've already got the cash out. Can you take it down for me? Sure. Oh, mate, you're a legend. And, uh, maybe don't tell Beck I forgot. It'd be quicker to throw you under the bus myself. Looking good, sis. What? I'm not giving you any more money. I don't want money. You're not taking my car to the gym? I've got my own car. Then what do you want? Nothing. Right. Can't a guy be nice to his sister without something being up? Not usually, no. So it sounds like a pretty cool party Francis is chucking today. And there it is. There yeah, what is? You want to come to the races? No. Maybe a little? <laughs> I knew it. What's the big deal? Francis won't even know I'm there. It's a day for adults, Patrick. Kitties aren't invited. What difference does it make to you? I don't want you embarrassing me. As if I would. You were practically dribbling over Sophie at the party last week. She didn't seem to mind. Oh, whatever. How many times do I have to tell you? She is never going there with you. Reckon, do you? Yeah, I do. So it's a no, then. You coming to the races? Oh, biggest no ever. You are so boring. You are so jealous. Are you wearing this? Give it to me. What is it? It's a fascinator. Everyone wears it to the races. Give it to me. Know what it looks like? Patrick! <laughs> yeah, yeah, Patrick! Oh. We get out, it looks like a bird. Hey, hey! Patrick! Get it back! Mate! Oh. Mummy, he's gonna ruin it! Give it back! It's oh. nice to you grow on your head and call it fashion. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! Watch your tongue, young man. What, it's a bird call? <laughs> I thought you were going to the gym. Oh, yeah? Then give the hat back and skedaddle. Oh! It's a fascinator. You look a treat, love. Yeah, it's amazing what a bit of cash can do for you. What's that supposed to mean? You wouldn't have worn that stuff before you had money. It's what everyone wears to the races, moron. Oh, I think it suits you. You are such a suck, Dad. And you'll get a clip over the ear if you're not careful. Go and put your hat on and let's see it. Fascinator. Not on you, it's not. Ah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mum. Can't say you weren't worn. I'll get it. 